We have got a corker of a video today. We've got a Princess 56. She's a 2001 model uh, fitted with the D12 engines. It's a D12 fully marinized, uh, 700s, D12 700s. So he's got the fly-by wire. So he's got some, some modern, um, modern technology on this mochi yacht, but she's a 2001 boat. Highly unusually, she was based in the UK from you, three private owners, and she's always been based in this marina and down in Sultan's Marina down here. She's called Angela 2. She hasn't been on the market since 2009. Let me show you on board and show you how much this boat offers and it's an incredible price of £200,000. Now considering we are where we are now here with this view and there are apartments over here for £3.5 million, this is an incredible buy. Let's go and have a look on board. So here we are, Princess 56. So she's lying down here in the water and uh, to be honest, the GRP needs a good polish up. There's some work to be done. So I'll be honest about this as we have a look around. I'm gonna point out some good bits and bad bits, but overall, you would not believe the condition of this motor yacht um, and such a privileged life that this, this one's had. Teak's a little bit green, but that'll polish up and clean up nicely. We've just instructed that to be done. We've got a low level LED lights here. It's got a passerelle here, so it's useful for the UK in terms of lifting a tender onto the back. So you could put a Williams on there, uh, 325, no problem whatsoever. Nice big bathing platform. So we step on back here. It's got the aft cleats because really she's just as useful in the UK as she is in the med. And then I'll just step back here so we can have a look at the cockpit here. So. As I step back here, I've got the steps going up. So she is a, she a, a 2001 boat. So now you'd have the nice big steps going through. However, I'll show you, we've got some internal steps going up to the flybridge as well. Nice area within the cockpit, plenty of space. And we've got these, uh, we've got these director's chairs that are here, nice teak table and a nice big uh, bench seat here. Underneath here, we've got a twin cabin, crew cabin in here. It's only been used as storage on this motor yacht, but I'll show you, it's got the hatch just here, it lifts up. And there's actually, in here, we've got twin cabins and there's actually a little ensuite in there as well, believe it or not. So currently used for storage, but yeah. Kids, you know, my kids love that. Uh, any snorers, perfect. And let's step inside. Come and have a look at this. It is incredible in terms of the. You've got the uh, nice thick deep pile carpets in here, a leather trim. Fairly sure that is original from new. And then that beautiful woodwork all the way through. That lovely deep cherry wood. It gives a real super yacht feel. So I just need to step back so you can really get the feels of. Loud motorboats just gone by. Uh, so, uh, it's the feel of that whole space in there. So it's a lovely lounge area here. We've got the TV. It's all integrated in here. Um, so it's a nice flat screen TV that's been updated. And then we've got these lovely lamps on here as well. Heating rather than air conditioning. So we've got a heating system on board, but there is a diesel heater. And then we've got uh, an ice maker in here. Fridge freezer. Uh, just in here in the saloon which is nice controls for the tv are just here so it just flicks on and then they give you all your smart tv channels and everything you'd expect there the drinks cabinet etc as well just how i said i'm going to point out good bits bad bits so we've got the headlining all looks good it's of a nice material all the way through here just where there is a bit of material just in this section here uh, there's a little bit of sagging so that just needs to be tightened up there but that would work you'll see through there it is absolutely stunning beautiful and deep pile carpet the leather trim looks good just a little bit of attention needed there but sort of part and parcel with the motor yacht of this this age and then you you've got this upper dinette area nice dining area um, electric windows on the port and starboard side over here as well and there's galley arrangement. So you step down into the galley down here. So from the galley, you still feel like you're part of the rest of the boat. It's a very social area, very social space. And as we step down into the galley, we've got the twin sinks here, stainless steel sinks. 
uh, four burner cooker hob here as well. Plenty of space. And like I say, as I'm stood up here at eye level, look around, you've still got the TV. I can still see outside. There's plenty of light. I still feel like I'm either part of the dinette area there or the lounge. And here as well, we have a concealed in here. Uh, we've got our microwave uh, just in there as well. Plenty of storage space in all the cupboards. And again, all then that nice, lovely cherry, lovely deep cherry wood. Now we have got a little bit of uh, an area here where it's just lifted and uh, just needs a bit of attention, but the rest of it's so nice. It'd be good to just to, to uh, get someone to just to sort that out, that piece of woodwork there. Um, fridge freezer uh, is a decent size in yeah, that one there. Decent fridge freezer. So we've got the fridge freezer here. We've got fridge freezer here. We've got fridge freezer in the cockpit. We also have storage underneath here, underneath my feet in this locker. And also just comes up on a gas strut up here. There's a little utility area. So down in here, I've got a washer dryer. We've got storage down here. We've got a freezer chest just down in this area here as well. So just uh, simple, easy access, nicely tucked away. And then just on a gas strut closes up there. Awesome space. So here's our upper dinette. Just the table overall in really good condition up there as well. The owners have had um, these covers put in place here. It's a good idea just to protect from the UV. And then you've got this helm position down here, the lower helm. So if you see, it's all the original, it's all the old uh, Raymarine um, equipment here. It all works. So we've got a colour chart plotter radar here. It's fully functional. That all works. Autopilot, bow thruster control, um, speed, depth, log. Uh, and then in, on the controls, we've got the EDC controls, so the fly-by-wire electric controls here, uh, and then controls for the bow thruster. Simrad, the VHF's been upgraded at some stage, and there's a nice handheld there, so it's good to have as well. So she can maybe communicating with the crew as well. Electric windows, uh, port and starboard, uh, just there. Every time I touch a button or open anything up, it all works, which is good to see. And then the dash all oh, looks like it's in very good condition. In fact, I think I'll double check the history. It looks like these gauges uh, have been replaced sometime uh, relatively new as well. So um, we're double checking the engine hours, but there's 71 hours reading since the gauges were replaced. So uh, we estimate there's probably about a thousand hours on the engines. So not much at all. So before we go down, I'm just going to look at these steps. So the steps are nice and shallow as you come down here. So they're not, they're nice, big and chunky. There's a real grand feel as you come down below down here. I'll just look back down here as well, because we've got our electric panel here to allow you to manage your uh, electric, your tankage, your electricity, your isolators, and your generator start stops just there as well. And if you just look at those steps as they come down, so even those, you're not too good with the sharp, uh, steep steps they're really nice and big these steps there's plenty of space down there so we've got a port side um, yeah port side twin cabin here so port side twin plenty of head height so if I step in here I've got loads of head height in here some natural light loads of storage really nice guest cabin in here and then again all the woodworks beautiful there's a real feel of quality everywhere on board this dare I say you know better than the new boats that are coming through um, everything just works it feels really solid having sold a few super yachts in my time there's a super yacht feel to this boat um, I just come back through so that's the port side twin there and then the port side twin oh, sorry the starboard side twin on this side here so again it's got the same sort of arrangement Nice to see the looks after with the low wattage uh, bar heaters here as well. So on this side here, we've got a full length mirror just behind the door. Um, we've got the wardrobe over here and then the portholes open. So if you want some fresh air in the summer months, it's there. Uh, let me just have a look here. Bear with me. Yeah, we've got a mirror back there. And then, so we've got this bathroom then that services both the twin guest cabins. 
So we've got a walk-in shower with a sliding door that comes across here as well. Electric quiet flush toilets. She has the holding tanks, of course, as well. Good, good amount of space in there. And then we come to our full beam master cabin. So we come in through, there's actually some good space, which is nice to see as you come through in, in front of the bed to walk around here. You see all the woodwork, really good condition all the way through, it's lovely. And the carpets look clean, it smells fresh. There's reading lights at the other end there, the mirrors, the portholes open. There's a flat screen TV. Looks a bit older, but you've got all the wiring in there, so it'd be super simple to fit that. You may want to change the head unit on the stereo as well. Little vanity area here, and good hanging space for sort of, here on the port and the starboard side here as well. So the wardrobe's through there, and then your own separate ensuite. So again, similar arrangement, a proper shower. We've just got the roll around door around here, so when you're in the shower, it all separates off, and then you're in here into the bathroom. Electric quiet flush toilet, smells fresh and looks clean. So let's come back through here. Now, as I speak, it looks like the weather's just come in. So <laughs> luckily we've got plenty of space. So I'll, I'll show you the section up here. So we, you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit. I'm gonna wait for the shower to pass and then I'm gonna go up onto the uh, flybridge and we're gonna have a look up there. Before we do that, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things here. So we've got our steps going through here from the cockpit going up to the flybridge. And then you've got these lovely big steps coming through up here to a separate section here. So there are a couple of models of this sort of era that did this. And you don't get this uh, anymore uh, until you go to a much bigger motor yacht um, that you actually got some steps internally that go up onto the flybridge. I'm um, just coming back aft as well. Another thing we can do here, even with the weather, just show you, this is an electric window as well. So that comes down here and opens up. So that slides all the way down to that section just down there. And again, works really well. So when you've got entertaining space or maybe on a hot day, you want to get some extra air coming through. Really nice. But that just slides up and down. Looks like our showers pass. Might have some wet trainers. Let's slip those on there. And then we'll go and have a look at flybridge so step up here it'll cover across there and then we come up onto the flybridge that was good timing sunbed area back here radar arch nice little table here uh, a small table there and then we've got a hot plate up here for cooking we've got a fridge freezer just down here and a little drinks cabinet so a nice social space up here onto the flybridge with a really good helm position there in terms of visibility forward and aft so back here i can see that aft quarter as well so yeah, it's really good visibility there as well no teak some low level lights and you know maybe a little bit of attention needs to be done or on the upholstery up here as well but overall the whole appearance and the way the, the, the yacht's been kept is really really nice I'm just going to come down to the engine space so let me come down and i'll show you that okay so we're just going to come down into we've got here the lazarette area here it's got the generator and also the engines that are just back here so we've got an 11 kva own and generator here with about 530 hours uh, C5 system is just tucked down here as well. So there's a good technical area down here, space for the ladder that comes down, some good storage space down on this side over here. And then we've got the batteries uh, just down over here as well. And then our twin direct drive D12 Volvo motors here. So you know, older technology, but we came into the marinized engines at this stage here, fully marinized. And actually, it's, it's, this is part of its privileged life, this motor yacht. It's been used for about six weeks of the year. Uh, the rest of the time, it's just been looked after, cared for, lifted out of the water for a certain period of the winter as well. And there's good access and the light down there. If you need more access, we've got this hatch here for day-to-day 
um, checks, etc. You just come down through the uh, cockpit area here, and you also got the hatches just above the engines there as well, just for the carpet. So there we have it. So it's a Princess 56. It's on the market, two hundred thousand pounds. It's currently available. Um, but we don't think it's going to be on the market for long. So uh, that Sea Lion T50 is already under offer. Uh, that was that went live this time last week. Here is another massive, great big motor yacht, huge amount of volume and space. If you're interested, please give us a call. If you'd like more video content, maybe you're looking to for future uh, future per purchase in the next few years. If you'd like to see more of the content, please subscribe to our channel. Really important that. We're nearly to a thousand subscribers. Just help us get us across the line. Thank you.